Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Not Timmy 66. How the heck is everybody doing today, man? Hope everybody's having a good day. As you can see behind me, it's a gorgeous day. Let's get the day started, man. <laughs> So today we're going to go ahead and of course discuss everything USPS and MHA. Today happens to be the 8th. My official start date was the 6th. Still ain't got no email yet for my orientation, but that's okay, man. We got holiday coming up, man. Thanksgiving and in our house, guys. When Thanksgiving comes around, the whole family comes here. So we're going to be doing some, I'm going to be doing, you won't be. I'll be doing some prep today on the house, getting everything ready to go. Always keep yourself busy, guys, while you're waiting, man. Always keep yourself busy. Always keep yourself ready to go. All right, that's enough of that. I'm going to get a copyright strike. How the hell's everybody doing, man? Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, it is a Monday, and I have decided that I am today. I am not going to bug the crap out of my guy at HR at the USPS, and I'm just going to let things roll a little bit and not get too concerned about it, and run some errands and do some things around the house that need to be done, man. So let's go. Let's go for a ride. Note to self, if you're going to start a video, make sure you got enough charge on your phone to actually shoot the video, right? Just a little note to myself. So guys, I guess what I want to talk about today more than anything else is what is work-life balance and what does that look like? And, you know, I guess the main thing I want to preface this by saying is that, you know, going to work for the post office is going to be something where it's going to demand a lot of your time, right? You're going to be there working 12 hour shifts. You're going to be working weekends and you're not going to be working no nine to five, man. It's, it's, you're going to be either be overnight, uh, unless of course you're a carrier, then you'll be working more day hours, but still you're going to be working a lot. And what are you willing to give up for that? Right? So a little backstory about myself. When I actually started this channel, guys, um, I had no intention of ever going to work for anybody else ever again. I come off the road as a truck driver. I'd had several failed attempts at, at working for other people. And when the pandemic hit, um, there was this thing called Uber Eats and DoorDash, and it was great, man. I was making tons of money, and I said, you know what? I'm going to start an independent courier position for myself and I'm going to work for myself. I was pulling in 150 to $200 a day. I could work whenever I wanted to. And <clears throat> I didn't have anybody to answer to but myself. And I've not ever been afraid to work. So, you know, it worked out well. And upkeep on the car and stuff like that was minimal compared to what I was making. Right? And if you guys go back on my channel and look at some of my older videos, you'll see that, that that's all I was going to do. Then things started to dry up a little bit. So I switched from Uber Eats over to DoorDash and I would do between the two. And that worked out for a while. I was still making the money. It was a little bit more, you know, jumping back and forth and stuff like that. But then both of them started to dry up in my market. And let me preface this by saying, if you guys do DoorDash or Uber Eats, it's a great way to make money. Especially if it's the market that you're in is good and that you can make the money doing it, man, 100%. And this is in no way, shape, or form a knock on anybody that wants to work for themselves, right? But it just wasn't working for me. Ever after going out for four or five hours and making 25, 30 bucks, um, wasting the gas, driving around and stuff like that, I just, the handwriting was on the wall. And this was after trying numerous different independent career contracting jobs with medical contracts. I, I delivered for uh, Tiff's treats for a while and it just wasn't paying off when I looked at how much gas I was putting in the car compared to and the time I was spending compared to what I was bringing in guys it just wasn't making it so I decided to go back to work but this time with a caveat if I'm going to back to work for somebody 
then that means, and I'm going to make a commitment to them, then that means that they're going to have to make a commitment to me, and I want a good paying job, a good company with good benefits, right? And so we go into what is work-life balance all about? What does it mean, right? Well, it means a good balance between the time you spend at work and the time you spend doing the things that you want, right? Spending time with your family, spending time with your friends, uh, going on trips, traveling, and doing those things, right? And I've made no secret on this channel that I have some long-term goals. Number one, and I'll mention it again because I love to talk about it, is the Can-Am Spider. And the other thing that my wife and I have been playing around with quite a bit is getting an RV. Um, it's not going to be too much longer before we're starting to look retirement in the eyeball. And we want to see some of this country to be able to do that. We need the funds and the ability to be able to do so. So I wanted something that if I was going to make the commitment to go back to work, I had to make a choice on whether or not my work-life balance was more important or my long-term goals at the end of the day, right? You might say, well, now, Timmy, you've got a CDL. Why don't you go back out and drive a truck, man? And there's nothing against truck drivers if it works for you. But my kids are in an age where, to be honest with you, being gone like that, my wife needs me around the house. Even if I'm gone working for 12 hours overnight, I still need to be able to come home every day. I, my presence is needed in the house, right? So truck driving for me, even though I would go do it in a heartbeat because I know you can make really good money at it. And to be honest with you guys, I really like the lifestyle. But I'm not single. I've got kids and it just doesn't work for me, but it may work for you. And there's also, what about IT, right? You could, you could go to school and work IT, and then you could be one of those digital nomads. You could get yourself a camper, and you could work remote wherever you want to doing stuff, and that's true too. But IT isn't for me. It's just not. I know delivery work, and I know stuff like that. That's kind of my gig. So I had to make a choice on what company I could go to work for and that I could trade my time, which is valuable, to get some benefit and reward out of it. And that's that was, that was my idea between work-life balance. If I'm going to give up something, I'm going to get something for it, right? That means I'm going to get paid well, I'm going to get overtime, I'm going to get full benefits, I'm going to get some kind of a retirement. And then the post office came up, man, and they started hiring and it was a no-brainer for me. It checked all the boxes that I needed it to check. It made life so much easier because I could still come home every night. I could still earn a decent wage. It's a union job. Say what you will again about unions. My um, opinion is still kind of out on, on unions. But, you know, for $27 every two weeks, it might be worth it, right? So, it's a, it's to me, it's, it's a positive, not a negative, right? Um, but then... What are you trading off? You're trading off missing some of your kids' choir concerts and band concerts or soccer games or football games. You're missing some things like that on a Saturday night when you might go out to the movies with your family or just spend the night in doing Netflix or whatever. You're working. You know, are, are you willing to make those sacrifices for the long-term goal? That was the biggest thing for me. What's more important, the long-term goal providing for my family or some kind of a work-life balance where I just did an eight to five. As working for yourself is probably the best way to go because you know yourself better than anybody else, right? And nobody probably works harder than anybody that works for themselves, right? Because you're supporting your own business. So what you do is super important. There really aren't too many calling in sick days when you work for yourself. And I've played with the idea of starting my own business several times. And it's still maybe something down the road. I don't know. But for now, right now, I want a job that's going to pay me well. And if you can pay me well, and if you can provide me good benefits, and you can provide me a safe work environment, and you can provide that I'll be home every night, then I'll provide you with something even more valuable. I'll provide you with my time and I'll provide you with my commitment and I'll provide you with an excellent work ethic to go along with it. 
I guess what I'm saying more than anything else is if you're going to make the commitment and you're going to sacrifice and give up your time, because we all know with the post office, you are giving up your time. You know, one of the things when I went to got my, got my ID badge, I went into the office and the lady at the post office was like, oh, well, welcome to the post office. And I said, oh, great. Well, thank you very much. And she's like, okay, just sit in that chair there and I'll take your picture, blah, 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 blah. And then she goes, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay with the post office. And I said, well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. She said, well, that's good because we're going to become your family now. I'm not kidding you. You're going to spend more time with us than you are with your family. And when you hear something like that, you're going, whoa, wait a minute. I'm not married to the job. I'm married to my wife or I'm married to my husband, right? You do spend a lot of time at the post office, but it's worth it. I guess the main thing is, is that if you're going to spend your valuable time working for somebody else, your talents, your ability, your skills, your hard work, your commitment, your endurance, your health, and really a large chunk of your life, make sure it's with a company that's going to treat you right. It's going to pay you well, recognize you uh, for the work you do and compensate you properly. And I'll tell you why. Because if you work for a company like that, you can reach your goals. And having a plan to reach your goals is 10 times, I don't know, to me it's more important than anything else. I need to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I need to kind of know why in the back of my head I'm getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and going into work and working a 12-hour shift. I need to know why when the boss is a jerk <clears throat> my co-worker's an asshole, uh, why I'm really doing this. I need to know at the end of the day when things get tough, things get hard, and I feel like I'm underappreciated and stuff like that, why am I doing this? What satisfaction am I getting out of it? Well, the satisfaction is a paycheck. The satisfaction is good benefits. And the satisfaction also, for me guys, is a retirement that I can count on. A retirement that's going to afford me the things that I want to do in life and allow me to complete this master plan I have in my head of getting an RV, getting a, getting a Can-Am Spider, getting out there, seeing the country, spending the time with my wife while I'm still young enough to do so. That's important. And if you can keep those goals in mind, then the commitment and the times that you have to miss things make it a little bit more it doesn't make it any better that you have to do it but it does make it a little bit more palatable let's put it that way it helps you get through the day so to speak or at least it does me so keeping goals in mind and having a good retirement plan as far as what I'm going to do when I'm done messing around at the post office is super important and everybody's got them they may be I'm going to go fishing every day for the rest of my life and buy a beautiful fishing boat and maybe I'm gonna finally get that cabin on the lake it may be I'm gonna to travel to Europe it may be I'm gonna see the world it may be whatever it is that you plan on doing it maybe I'm gonna put my kid through college it may be that I'm gonna be able to afford my kids wedding and walk them down the aisle it may be those things that are important in life to you and as long as you keep those in mind the job kind of becomes a little bit less significant as far as what you're giving up, right? And we all know that with the post office, we're going to be giving up a lot. So keep those thoughts in mind. Just keep those goals in mind. Stay positive about everything, man. It's hard to do sometimes. Like right now, it's kind of tough to stay positive while I'm waiting on this orientation. And my start date has officially been two days ago, right? But I stay positive because I know in the end that things are going to work out just fine and that things will work out the way they're supposed to work out. But keep your goals in mind. Again, I'll say this, I know I'm a broken record, but every day when you wake up, look at the things that you have in life and be grateful for those things that you have and start forming a plan on what you can do to really reach those goals that you want to reach in your life. Nothing good comes without sacrifice, right? And we all have to sacrifice every now and then. But it doesn't mean that we have to do it begrudgingly and have a horrible attitude about everything, right? 
it's always good to laugh, it's always good to smile, and it's always, always good to look at things as positively as we can as opposed to negatively. That's all I got today. That's all for this message. That is my answer to the work-life balance quandary. There's probably a million comments out there for people that, that have wondered the same thing, and I want to hear them. You guys are up to like 250 subscribers now or 243 or something like that we're moving on up man and it's awesome i really appreciate it you guys are making this happen it really has nothing to do with me except for the fact that i make these videos but it's you guys watching them it's you guys liking them it's you guys commenting on them that are helping this channel to grow and i thank you from the bottom of my heart for that so get out there and enjoy your day guys be positive in what you do and always remember no matter what you do in life, guys, make it count. Not Timmy 66. I'm out.